I think that you, uh, people could understand my point. It's uh, some experiences I have, so, so um, I haven't been too close with people here, but uh, that was my, my feeling, that this was uh, okay with that. So, where do you see Finland standing today in terms of free speech? Yeah, I think that the free speech has become a problem because you have this thing that I have said over and over again that people are prepared to negotiate with violence. And um, when uh, when in my community, the uh, chairman of the community, he is saying that uh, one has to understand freedom of speech, but uh, it's very unnecessary for for Vilks because he has been going on and he's been going too far and. Uh, um, then, then I mean, I start to believe that people understand. I mean, up on a rather higher level, uh, and, and then, and then we actually have a problem. People are negotiating with violence, which they should not do. I mean, everyone is is in principle uh, uh, saying that that um, we have to stand up for freedom of speech in these other conditions. But still, when it comes to practical means, they are not. And it's going to have a panel discussion in uh, Stockholm, but Stockholm came out of question because uh, um, no one wanted to have me in their rooms. I mean, when you, when you try to rent a place and they, and they get to know that who is coming here, it's Mr. Wilkes. It is too dangerous for us and people who are living here will be afraid and, and uh, no thanks. Do you regret any of your drawings? No. They, I mean, they, if, if you if you if you look at my drawings, they are very soft cores uh, compared to satirical drawings. Because I'm not a cartoonist. I made a, a, a traffic roundabout dog. It's a very positive thing. It's not even a real dog. So the combination is. I mean, if you if you read in the context, I mean, it's it's a bit funny. But it's not, it's not really, it's not a nasty picture. You have to contextualize it yourself to, to be, be uh, insulted. So um, there is no need to say uh, that this is something. I think it's a genial thing. I, I didn't think so, so from the beginning, but actually no one has been able to explain it. There are so many interpretations of this story. Mm -hmm. And many more to come. How does that feel like uh, putting random lives random people's lives in danger anywhere you go? I think uh, you should ask the, the, um, the, the murderers that question. Because they are the problem. I'm not the problem. I mean, as I say, I don't like your glasses. You must take them off immediately, or otherwise I'll be shoot the photographer here. And then you say, no, I'm, I'm, I have the right to, to have bear my glasses, and then I shoot the, the photographer and say, it's your fault. Why didn't you take it off? Is it your fault? I mean, that's, that's, the, that's the, uh, <laughs> the logic. I had to leave my, my home because uh, I've, been, I've been living in a house for over many years. I've been renting that house and everything was, uh, was quite reasonable. But then came this Copenhagen thing and, uh, and then there started a very aggressive movement in the neighborhood who felt that I was the real problem. He, this man is putting all of us in a danger. Here is a school which is just one kilometer from his home. And who knows if the terrorists actually are attacking the school. And they, if he had not been doing this thing, we would not be in this problem. So um, we want this guy to move away from here. And um, they also pressed the, the house owner, my landlord, and, and he asked me um, if uh, he, he said that it, it's not possible for me to have you as a, 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 a renting the house anymore. So um, you have to you have to move away. So that's um, that's my um, life after that on the move from uh, one hiding place to another hiding place. A moving target is hard to hit. Do you think that there should be a line between insulting and free speech? No, um, free speech is insulting. You have opinions, and uh, when I make a heavy attack on your opinions, then I insult your opinions. And uh, you could be personally insulted also, because I, I actually challenge everything that you think is right. And then you get very angry. 
Uh, and, and that is the idea of freedom of speech. Uh, but then you, then you have to consider that I'm very angry now I have to defend myself. And then you can of course uh, give me a, a hit, you know, but that is the wrong method. Uh, you shouldn't shoot me. You should, you should uh, say that, well, I can argue for my thing and I can argue back. So uh, to, be, uh, to be insulting, that is the very idea of freedom of speech. So, so then the point is in the right way of dealing with that. With yeah, yeah, of course. Sat sat satire has been a, a part of the tradition, which it, it can be very tasteless, and uh, you challenge your authorities in many ways. You make fun of the of the, the big guys, you know. And um, hitherto, we have been looking uh, very positive uh, to do that with authorities, and, and uh, now we are standing in in a problem where you some of the politicians say that maybe we should not allow people to make fun of politicians because uh, we get insulted and uh, um, it's not it's not very good for our work. We, we have to be respected, uh, and if we come to that, I mean, then then we have a very bad situation. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you.